friends welcome back to my channel welcome back to the vlogs i was getting ready today my face is like almost done i've done my foundation my bronzer my highlight my blush i wanted to stop and actually vlog because i just got in some new eye products from laura mercier and i wanted to share them with y'all basically today jay Waz and i are going to look at two more houses so i'm going to take you guys along with us to go look at those houses i may or may not you can come in. I'm telling them what we're doing today. Sweet. I was gonna ask, 2.15 is that work? Yes. Cool. At 2.30. We have a showing at the other one at 3.30. Cool. Great. Yes, so I have about 15 minutes, so I need to quickly get ready, but I wanted to start vlogging. We're gonna look at houses today. I have got a package from Reformation that I want to open up with you guys. We'll just see what the weekend has. I'm thinking maybe... Maybe, just maybe, just maybe. I might be purchasing a designer handbag that I've been looking at for a couple months now, but I don't wanna promise that. So that's just on my mind. I gotta talk to Jaywaz first, obviously, and make sure that he's cool with it. I mean, we've talked about it before and he's been like super supportive about it, but I don't know if this weekend is a good weekend to go to the mall and do that, but we're just gonna see what happens. Laura Mercier sent over some new caviar sticks. These are in their rose gold collection. So as you can see, if you're familiar with the caviar stick or if you've watched any of my vlogs before, you've seen me open these products before, you've seen me use these, before and I love, love, love the Caviar Sticks by Laura Mercier, but they just launched a rose gold collection of them. So as you can see, all really, really beautiful, usable colors here. And then they also launched a limited edition highlight powder. This is the Rose Glow, which I actually already put on. So this is the highlight that I have on. I forgot to vlog the step of my makeup, but really, really pretty highlight. But I wanted to kind of show you guys these because they're just really pretty shades and i wanted to kind of swatch them for y'all really quickly so we'll just go ahead and start because i have like i said literally 15 minutes before we gotta go and i need to finish my makeup so the first shade is wild rose i also love the rose gold packaging this new packaging is really pretty so this one is wild rose and i love the caviar sticks because they are super super creamy and they are stay all day smudge proof colors and they are just great if you are just wanting an all over lid color. Super quick and easy to blend out with the finger. This is the shade Rose Thorn and I truly am obsessed with this collection because these are all such wearable shades. This is almost like a brown with a really pretty kind of purple undertone. It's really really pretty on like olive skin tone so i really like that shade this is the shade strike a rose this one is like a true kind of rose gold the next shade is forbidden rose and this is kind of like a brown with a reddish undertone so it's like a little bit more of a red and then the next one is bed of roses so this is Bed of Roses right here. And then the last shade is Kiss from a Rose. And this is the, well, this is probably the second lightest shade. So this is Kiss from a Rose. But I just love these because they're shimmery. Like I said, they are basically smudge proof and they really do kind of last all day. So they're really good, quick, all over lid shades. So I'm going to do the shade. I actually really like kind of this rose gold shade. This one. I'm going to do the bed of roses on my lid and just show you guys how I apply these. So I just did a swatch and application of the Glossier Lid Stars and I would say these are same wear time. They're smudge proof, but these do not start as a liquid. These are more of a cream product. So it just depends what your preference is, but they just add a really pretty single wash of color. And I love that they're like shimmery and they just have really good pigment and they're just so easy. Like if you truly just don't wanna mess with eyeshadow or brushes or anything like that, like they just blend out so easily with the finger and literally that's like all you have to do is just swipe and pat it out and that's literally it so i'm gonna go throw on mascara and we'll grab a lip product and then i'll be done okay so i just threw on some lash slick mascara i've been really liking simple eye looks lately just because summer it's, it's so much easier but these once they're dry they are like smudge proof so 
you really can wear them all day long and they're not gonna move around like I'm literally like smudging it out and they're staying so that is what I love about the caviar sticks. I went ahead and grabbed a lip product. This is the Ilia Beauty Lullaby Balmy Tint. This is kind of like a rosy color, so I thought we could stick to like this rose gold kind of rosy tint. I love these. I truly just wish that they had like a slanted top for application because I feel like it just would be more precise, but the smell honestly makes up for it. I love the smell of these balms. I was gonna open up the Reformation stuff with y'all and try it on, but I, I honestly don't have time. So I'm gonna get dressed. We're gonna go to a couple house showings and then maybe we can come back and try on the Reformation pieces. All right, we are about to leave, but I wanted to show you guys my outfit. I love this Zara dress so much. I got this dress in our last vlog and it is so cute. I've got it paired with my Rothy's um, slip-on sneaker. Hi, Rye. And then for my bag, I've got on this hobo crossbody bag, which has just been really easy to grab because it's so small. Jay was, you want to show him your outfit? Show him the shorts at least. New shorts, who dis? He got those in our Zara haul as well. But we are going to go look at another house. Now that it's summer and I've been wearing like dresses and shorts and stuff, I have been needing to put lotion or some kind of like oil on my legs so that they don't look like dry. So I've actually been using the Glossier Body Hero oil because it's super, super lightweight. And sometimes I feel like in the summer when I'm already hot and like sweaty and the air is thick from humidity, I don't really want to wear like heavy lotion. So I really like this because it literally is just like spraying a really light mist of oil and then it's super lightweight. It's the best view I can think of, but literally I will take the oil and I'll actually take my shoes off because I don't want to get it on my shoes. I'll take the oil and I literally just go spray, spray. <laughs> Riley. And then I kind of rub it in with my hands and it is truly like weightless on my legs. Also, I want to note that this doesn't make your legs look oily. Like it won't look like you literally just lathered on a bunch of oil. Like your legs will not be super, super like shiny and oil. It's almost like, it's like a dry oil. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's basically gives you hydration. It's super lightweight, but it's not shiny, if that makes sense. We're in the car and we are on our way to the first house, which is over by like an up and coming part of Nashville, still in the area that we want to be in generally. And and this one is a newer build, so it's gonna look a little bit more like, I don't know, like the new builds basically. But at this point, we're kind of open to anything. Somebody was already here doing music. Welcome to Nashville. I love Literally, this. The thing. closet is just full of gear. It's beautiful. The natural light in this one is so good. I feel like this would be literally perfect house for filming and shooting and obviously like living it's super super nice but we have one more to look at and then we'll kind of decide from there love all the natural light here it's honestly crazy how bright it is all right we just got to house number two which is a completely different vibe this 
this is the cutest, quaintest little ranch style home right over by the parks that we love. And it has a sunroom outside. But y'all, what really turned us onto this house is the backyard. It just feels like a family home and it just, it feels really quaint. Say it again. So happy in this big fenced-in yard. We got planes over here. Think about the planes, babe. They got planes everywhere. Fenced-in yard for Riley. She would honestly thrive here. Oh, look, they, they converted the garage, right? But they use their brain and still get some spot for the mower. Oh yeah. So no garage. The garage actually got converted into like a sunroom. Got a bunch of hydrangeas, but because this house is for sale, no one's watering them and they're all sad. How do you feel? I feel like you feel really comfy here. I really like this actually. Yeah. We really like the price too. As we wait for grandma to let us in, what did you think about the last one? Definitely the natural light was beautiful. I liked that it was on its own lot and like in a hill or whatever, on a hill. It felt bigger than I thought it was going to, but I guess until you go upstairs. The bedrooms are kind of small. Like, it's definitely a compromise for my work situation, like, as in I probably wouldn't be able to work there. But it definitely is in a great part of town. Like, you feel like you're kind of close to everything. The decks in the backyard were good. It feels honestly a lot like that first buildup that we ever looked at that we tried to put an offer in, but then someone put an offer in literally while we were walking through it. This one is definitely not new. The one that we're outside of right now it's definitely just a ranch style house we really like the price it's probably not going to be as bright on the inside just because that other one had multiple levels of like windows but you know what you can't have everything you want in the first house so we're just gonna give it a chance and see what it is jay was saying that he really likes that this feels like a proper home like it feels like you have a yard and it just feels like you own like a property versus the other one felt kind of like an airbnb it felt more like i don't know it just felt like you were owning a glorified townhouse but this one is truly just like a house so hopefully the inside is cute i really hope i like the inside the kitchen is remodeled so i have a lot of hopes for the kitchen and the floors look awesome so we shall see again this time we are here to return we're here to move into crate and barrel we live here <laughs> we're here to return some shorts of jaywas because i think he just wasn't as excited to wear them as he thought and he already got a couple got pairs them, yeah he already got some stuff that he actually really really liked so it kind of was like if you don't love it we might as well just return it so we're back i kept all my stuff though i thought i was gonna like have to return some stuff for sizing but it all worked for me and then we might pop over to the nordstrom depending on how we're feeling after the the zara line i'm sure there's a line because we're here on a friday and i'm sure it's very very busy but maybe we'll pop over to nordstrom and i can show you guys a few bag options Look what's coming to the mall, Aritzia. First time I ever shopped in Aritzia was in DC. All right, so I've got a couple that I'm looking at and I wanna show you them and then I want you guys to vote down below which one you think I'm actually gonna get. All right, option number one, the YSL quilted bag. I actually looked at this one when we went to New York a couple years ago. And then I just kind of put it out of my mind. But the cream, guys, and the gold hardware, so beautiful. Okay, Jay Waz is very heavily invested in this. <laughs> Option two, Celine. Is this not out of left field? I've never, ever, ever talked about Celine, but something about the nano luggage tote gets me. And it's this beautiful green color. It's cute. While we're here, I just want to point out these chain wallets so beautiful and they have it in this card holder style i'm gonna have to come back for this eventually <laughs> option number three the bottega bag this is an iconic trend bag right now the kind of like cross quilting 
the really really heavy chain this is a very heavy bag like it is like weighing me down but y'all the actual quality of this bag is insane and you guys know i love a flat bag last and final option this beautiful YSL in green. I clearly am very drawn to green with gold hardware. So let me know down below in the comments which one you think I'm getting. We got her. I am going to do like a proper reveal unboxing video that's gonna be separate from this one but i seriously want to know which one you think i got because i feel like it honestly might surprise you because it's different than anything that i would normally go for but i really love it and i've been thinking about it for so long so i'm so excited that i did it and jos got to come along for the ride we're gonna go home make some dinner and then so I just got home and I really, really, really wanted to film an unboxing of this bag, but we are about to eat dinner and I don't want Jason to have to wait on me. So I figured we could do something really quick instead and do the try-on of the Reformation pieces that I got. I got two pieces from Reformation and I really wanted to get stuff that was gonna be super, super wearable. So the first thing that I got is this really cute it's almost like a bandeau top like you could wear it i don't know if you can actually remove the straps i don't think you can so the straps don't remove but basically it's like a a top like this and then it has these straps and i thought this would be really cute with denim shorts you can see it has the cutest like is it a lemon or orange I think it's lemons pattern on it, but I love the material that Reformation has. I think this top is so, so cute. I love the lemons on it and the ruffles. I love that it has these really thin kind of like dainty straps. It is honestly like the perfect length. It kind of hits right at the jeans, but this top is so cute and perfect for summer because it is just so like, I don't know, I feel like you won't get like that weird of tan lines because you can kind of move the straps around if you're out all day, but I just love this so much. I think this is so cute. I will be sure to link all these pieces down below. These are also the Madewell Perfect Vintage Jean in case you were wondering, which I will link down below as well. And then the second piece that I got is a dress because I feel like Reformation makes the best floral dresses, like the best floral pieces. So this is the dress that I picked out and it has this really pretty kind of like watercolored blue floral design as well. Not really floral, more like leafy blueberry kind of pattern to it almost. But I thought this one was just gonna be really, really pretty and it's not too tight, which is what I like about it. I feel like it's just gonna be super, super comfy. Oh, uh, this dress is actually perfect i love this dress so much it fits so well and i love the like ruffle here at the top the ties on the sleeve and then yeah it just fits really really nice and then the ruffle at the bottom my favorite thing about reformation is that they have like five or six patterns or prints per actual like fit so this dress comes in like a bunch of different colors and patterns and stuff, which is really, really fun. So wanted to open up this Everlane return. If you guys watched my Everlane haul, you saw that really pretty kind of like red silky top that I got. I ended up exchanging it for a smaller size because it was just like a little bit wide in the armpits. So I wanted to try it on and show you guys the new size that I got. But if you didn't watch that video, this is the top and it's so pretty, this color. And then it has an open back, but I absolutely loved it when I tried it on earlier or in that haul, but it just didn't fit me like the way I wanted it to. So I'm really excited that I got to exchange the sizing on it. I love the way that this top fits. There's definitely like less room here. So it fits like really nicely on the top. So you're a little bit more like secure because it is an open back. You probably will want to wear some kind of like sticky boob, although it's not really that revealing, but I really love this color. You can tuck it in in the front if you want, but I personally just really like it 
open like this. I think it just, it's super breezy, honestly, perfect for summer. And it is lined, which is really, really nice. So you have like two layers of the silk and it is just such good quality. And the last thing I promise, the last thing I'm gonna unbox is some stuff from Pros. If you guys watched, I don't know, a few vlogs back at this point, I've done so many vlogs. I've been loving vlogging lately. I just feel like it has just come so naturally lately. I've just wanted to share so much of like my everyday kind of stuff going on. And so vlogging has just naturally been how, I don't know, how I feel like I've been expressing myself with my like videos and stuff. I of course have some like hauls and like sit down videos planned, but I just, I love vlogs. They're so casual, they're so chill. And I literally just get to like bring you guys along in my day, which is like so fun. But if you guys watch like maybe three or four vlogs back now, I don't know at this point. I mentioned that I'm doing something with pros and I'm really excited because I just got the other stuff that I. I am gonna be trying out over the next month. So I already got their either shampoo or conditioner, but I also am gonna be trying out their, um, these are like, I think supplements. These are different capsules for like how I want my hair to improve. So I think I maybe posted on Instagram like a few days ago where I was like, should I grow my hair out or should I keep it short? And I wanna say it was like 50-50 split, but honestly, a lot of you guys were like, grow it out, I loved your long hair. And if I'm being completely honest, I really kind of miss my long hair. I don't know if I'm gonna go that long again because that was honestly so tangly and it would get so dirty so quickly. But I really think I wanna grow it to like about here because right now I really can't put it up in a ponytail and we've been working out every other day or like every day and it's been just kind of annoying that I have to bobby pin it all up and it falls and long story short i just want to grow it out like to here i think but i really am loving the color so i don't know if i'll keep it light and grow it out or grow it out and go a little bit darker i'm not sure but basically i do want to grow it out a little bit and this actually came at like the perfect time i'm gonna be testing these out over the next month but basically if you guys aren't familiar with pros they are like a hair care company and they make products that are like specific to your hair needs so you like go online you take a quiz and then they like give you customized products that are for your specific hair type or what you're trying to achieve with your hair and these are some new supplements that they just released and i took my quiz and i said on my quiz that i really wanted to like grow my hair out and i also wanted it to be stronger because when i do a lot of this kind of like bleaching and lightening it does get a little bit frail and weak so i got my supplements and i'm going to start taking these this week but i have one for scalp balance because i <laughs> My hair gets really, really oily, and this is supposed to kind of help combat that. So this one, you're supposed to take with food, and you take it daily. And then this one, I got, this one is for growth boost, and this one you also take daily. So this one is for growth, and it will help my hair be strong and grow. This is my customized kit of conditioner, leave-in conditioner, and a pre-shampoo mask, which I've used one of their masks before, their hair masks. They are so good, so I'm so, so excited. I also, I love a leave-in conditioner because my hair, because like I said, I color it a lot. It can get kind of like tangly, even, even though it's short, it still can like get tangly in the shower because I just like really go at it with the shampoo. But I got the Color Care Leave-In Conditioner. So this is supposed to protect color treated hair, which mine is. And then I also got the Humidity Resist Anti-Brassiness Conditioner. So this will help with color treated hair from it turning brassy and like orange. It will keep it this like really nice color that my hair girl works so hard to achieve. So I'm really, really excited. I will keep you guys updated just kind of as I do more vlogs and as I I just keep using these products and trying them out. I will be doing a sponsored video with them at some point, and I'm not sure if that video will like encompass the journey of me using all this, but I'll keep you updated on the vlogs anyway, just cause I want, I want you guys to have like my real like in time thoughts about like these products, especially the supplements. I'm really excited because I kind of want to expedite the process of growing this out, just like the slightest, but even to just here again. I'm really glad that I cut it really short because it was always in the back of my mind, what would it look like if it was really, really short? Like, what would it look if I just went shoulder length? So I'm glad I did it, but I I kind of want it to be like literally where it was before I cut it, like right back here again. So I don't know, I'm glad I tried it. If I hadn't tried it, I would have literally just wondered every single day, 
what would it look like if I cut it? Because that was me. Like every single day since I got it cut the first time, I would be like, Jason, do you think I should go like shorter? Or should I keep it? Or I should go shorter, right? And he was like, please just cut it so that you stop talking about it. So I'm glad I did it. But this is awesome because I am really excited to see how it kind of promotes hair growth. And also we can take care of the oiliness because the summer just really promotes my oily, oily hair. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and looking at the houses with us and going with me to pick out my handbag. I'm so excited to unbox it. I am really, really pumped for y'all to see which one I picked out because I think it might, might surprise you. But if you like this vlog, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know which one you think I got. And if you are new to my channel and you want to stick around for some more videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you back and I will see you guys in my next one very, very soon. Bye y'all.